Easter Vigil's many readings walk us through the story of God and God's people. As we reach the Gospel, we arrive with Mary Magdalene, Mary the mother of James, and Salome at the empty tomb of Jesus. Jacopo di Sione's altarpiece detail captures the moment of encounter between the three women and the mysterious men dressed in white, angels heralding the resurrection just as they heralded the birth of Christ many years before. The image is splendidly detailed. The women bring their spices in small, ornate boxes as they approach the tomb on a lawn spotted with delicate flowers. The tomb is an ornate sarcophagus, carved with decorative patterns. The fine robes on the women are in bold jewel tones, and the angels' robes are trimmed delicately with gold. The angels wear small tiaras, and their colorful wings hint at heavenly glory through their rainbow of feathers. The golden embossed halos are signs of the heavenly realm as well, adding another dimension to the image. Even in the midst of this detailed representation, Mary Magdalene receives special attention. Her traditional red garments and loose red hair allow us to identify her. Behind the spice box she holds, we see another object tucked into her robes, resembling a white scroll. The scroll encapsulates the words offered to her by the angel. It is a symbol of the message she is sent to share. It is also a symbol of the new law, the new reality brought about by Christ in the light of the resurrection. Elsewhere in Christian art, we see Peter and Paul with the scroll as a sign of their apostleship and service to the new law of Christ. Mary Magdalene will carry the as yet tucked away scroll and its message of the resurrection and pass it along to Peter and the disciples, serving as the first apostle to the apostles themselves. Immersed in the stories of God and God's people, which climax with the good news of the resurrection, the Easter Vigil is replete with scrolls, handed on to each of us to go and share. Like Mary Magdalene and the disciples after her, we are all sent with the good news to all the world.